we can create all kinds of interesting distortions on our comps by going to the effect menu and choosing things out of the distort category. Now many of them of course you can adjust forever. So I'm going to show you two really fun ones to experiment with. We'll go ahead and start off with the bulge distortion. And as you can see, we're given this little icon here that acts like a magnifying glass and it distorts the object that it crosses over. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually animate this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about the properties that we're going to animate here. As you can see, we have a horizontal radius, a vertical radius, and other properties. So what I'm going to do is twirl open the first two just to give you a taste of actually animating a distortion. I'm going to take the sliders for both of these properties all the way to zero. And I'm going to make sure I'm on my first frame. If you guys aren't, go ahead and hit the home key. And if you want to follow along, open up the lander.jpg file that you'll find inside of the work files folder. And what we're going to do is we're going to enable the stopwatch on horizontal radius and vertical radius. As you can see, our properties are set to zero. Now I'm going to move the current time indicator over just a little bit. And I'm going to scrub both of these properties to a pretty big number, like 100 or so. Now I'm going to deselect my footage by clicking away from it like so. And I'm going to hit home on my keyboard. And I'll hit the space bar. Let's go ahead and check out the animation. Now as you can see it's taken a while to generate so I'm going to go ahead and manually scrub it and you can see that it starts to build up from here. And that's the animation that we would get by using this property. Don't forget we can also place it wherever we want to. So that is one example of a distortion. So I'm going to leave that actually where it is and just show you how you can get rid of an effect just in case you don't want to deal with it. Well as you can see if I can click on my footage here I can hit the E key of my keyboard and that will open up any of the effects that we apply. And I can go ahead and turn off the effect by hitting this little eye right here or the effects icon. And that will temporarily turn it off. You'll notice that it also turns off up here. So you have the ability to turn off an effect either by hitting E for effect down here in the timeline or up here. Likewise, you can also select the effect and hit delete on your keyboard and that effect goes away. Another cool effect that we can play around with is effect, let me go ahead and click on my footage, effect distort Bezier warp. This is really fun because you're given a bunch of control points here. Each one of these control points corresponds to one of these. For example, top left vertex. And I can go ahead and move this one and you notice that the numbers here change to tell me the current position of this point. And we also get an awesome warping effect that allows us to tear the thing and literally fold it in on itself. And yes, you can actually animate this, which is very cool. So you can just simply enable the stopwatch like so, move your current time indicator, and you can either manually move this, or you can scrub the numbers. I'll go ahead and play that backwards and forwards. So in effect, you could animate this ship being sucked into a black hole by having the keyframes over time doing something like this where you have the ship collapsing and being pulled into like a, a vortex or a wormhole. So imagine doing something like this over time and then you could take this as a pre-comp and just move the whole thing and then it would just be sucked into that time warp. So that's another cool example of the effects. You'll notice that when you go to this menu, you can see all kinds of cool things in here. And we have something like magnify, which is pretty similar to bulge. And as you can see, when I grab the magnify, like the bulge, it zooms in on the particular part of the footage, like a magnifying glass. 
And going back here again, we have something like you have in Photoshop. We have Liquify. We have Mesh Warp, which is like Bezier Warp. We have Mirror. We have Ripple, Twirls, and all kinds of things. I'll go ahead and choose Twirl this time. And you'll see that we're given a whole list of all the effects that we've created so far. So you can collapse them down. And as you can see, you can actually have compound effects on your footage. You don't have to just do one at a time. So with the twirl, I can take this guy here and I can move this dial and I can twirl this guy into a vortex. I can also use the twirl radius to change how much is going to be affected by that. And I can also move the center of the effect. So you can animate this, of course, over time as well. So you can do close in a washing machine. Or you can do something like a ship being sucked into a time warp or even a maelstrom. So the, the ship's on the high seas and it's like, oh no! Hope you guys didn't get dizzy because I did. So I <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed that. Just go up to the effect menu, distort, and just experiment. There's tons and tons of cool effects that you can apply to your comps.